Hi everybody, welcome back to Horror and Sci-Fi Collectibles. Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at this Star Trek item I picked up. So I picked this up at a Think Geek store recently. This is uh, uh, Captain Kirk's chair in a 1 6 scale replica. Uh, you know, good image of him on the side there, pictures of the chair on the back. Uh, this is from a uh, company called QM. Uh, as you can see on the top here, QM Master Series. Uh, they also make some 1 6 scale figures uh, that would go in this. I do have a 7 inch scale Kirk and setting in this he, he looks like a little kid in a chair. So I'll open up the box and then we'll get right into it. So there it is. Um, so I picked this up for one, uh, one reason and one reason only. Uh, next month I'm going to be going to the Days of the Dead convention and William Shatner is going to be there and I thought this might be the perfect item to have him sign and I'm going to have him sign along here and if I can get him to do it uh, you know it depends on the celebrities depends on the convention if they'll personalize it or not I would like it if he would write steady as she goes uh, beside his name there but uh, uh, again, one six scale, so this is about six inches tall. Uh, the seat does uh, swivel, but not all the way around because there is wiring up through here, and if you twist it around, you could damage it. Uh, on the bottom there, you can see it's got a battery door. It takes three double A's, or it can actually be USB powered through a micro D USB and the volume is right here so I'm going to crank up the volume a little bit um, the buttons here are very true to the series uh, you know Kirk's hailing buttons none of them move uh, the colored lights uh, uh, you know the rocker panel switches uh, different switches. The seat is a very nice plushy, uh, uh, not not a real leather, but but a very nice soft vinyl. So, some point I would like to get a one six Kirk to put in there. Uh, the ones from that QM company do look really nice and look a lot like William Shatner in the face. Uh, so hopefully this picks up on the microphone. But there's a red button here, and it goes through four different sounds, and I'll play them now. So as you can see the different lights correspond to the different sounds. All the lights light up. Actually, turn that down a little bit. Um, all the lights light up when, uh, when the instrument scanning sound plays. Okay, there's got to be some happy medium. There we go. So all the lights are lit up there. Just the green light lights up on that one. I think that is more of a uh, instrument scanning. Then of course yellow for uh, hailing or yellow alert. And the red light for red alert. So uh, I think that that's pretty cool. Um, Captain Kirk's chair is definitely one of the most recognizable chairs in television history, I would think. Um, I don't know if I can really think of too many other chairs that that really, you know, stand out like this and you know what they are when you see them. So, a uh, very cool little model. This was $60 at ThinkGeek. Um, I think $120 or $130 on QM's website, which I thought was too high. Their one sixth figures are about $180, so that's probably something that I will not be buying for a while. Uh, if at all, but uh, next month uh, I'll meet meet William Shatner, get a picture with him, and have him sign this, and then I'll probably do a follow-up video to let you see what it looks like signed. So uh, there it is. Um, uh, 
check it out online see if you can find one if you're a trek fan it's a cool item to have on your shelf so subscribe thanks for watching i'll talk to you later